race day, 7.30. Wouldn't have mind a little more sleep, but time to go. Family's here as well. That's good news. I'm gonna need it. So we're on the way to the track. Personal crew is with me. Emily just told me uh, I have to finish on the podium, but that will never work out. So that's a very good uh, morning motivation. <laughs> it's a sunny day and uh, let's see what it will bring us now. Eight in the morning, uh, we have a meeting at 8.30. I brought my breakfast oatmeal lunchbox with me so I can uh, have it at the meeting. Uh, I'll be doing a start. Uh, start is at 12. Still have a bunch of autograph sessions and media time. The reason we're busy in the morning. What? Do you want your Actima? Okay. First, I have to solve that problem. Guessing the middle of the car as you arrive, and then you're like, oh, fuck, I'm not in the middle, and then you're always searching a bit. So, we just finished our uh, race meeting, took about an hour, uh, talked about strategy, a goal for the race, I don't know, we have a lot of details. Loading in some carbs for the race, which will be uh, fun probably. Now, we have a uh, meet team, uh, so, we'll speak to the media. We have autograph session, a little bit more eating, a little bit more drinking, a little bit more blah blah blah, and uh, then finally we go racing. Done our morning meetings, done the autograph sessions, media stuff. I'm doing the start, so I have to drive the car to the grid in 40 minutes, 50 minutes. <laughs> so having a little break, then drive the car to the grid, and then I most of the time try to sneak off because it's nice to be to be there, but it's quite busy. So I try to go somewhere calm, maybe come back here and try and have a little relaxing time. Very excited actually. Um, I'm obviously nervous, but I'm mostly happy and looking forward to it and, and yeah, I expect it to be more stressed, but I'm not. I'm really just excited because it's finally, you know, first race in this LMDH car. We're not there where we want to be yet in terms of performance, so it will be difficult to fight for a win, but it's going to be cool. Uh, a lot of unknowns, on the double stand on the tires and having to save fuel a lot, so no idea how it will be compared to the other drivers around me, but uh, yeah. I, just, I hope it's just gonna be fun. It's something I've been looking forward for since years and years, so just trying to be, uh, you know, grateful for that and, and enjoy it. So, wish me luck. We have no idea what to expect on the pace or tire degradation or fuel mileage compared to the other competitors. So uh, we're going to do our program, we have a plan in hand and we'll see if that works. First stint is done. Extremely tough. Uh, tried to, to do a strategy but we had like absolutely no tires at the end and it was incredibly tough. We managed to stay in front of the Cadillac which is already more than we expected but it was super 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 difficult so uh, a bit exhausted as well at the moment it was quite exhausting but let's see how the rest of the race brings. Back in the motorhome just had some with a little chicken and rice with a lot of ketchup. Uh, too much rice. <laughs> now it's Kevin still in the car. Next up is uh, Andre, and I'll be in around 5:30. So I have like three hours of rest. It was a tough physical first stint, so uh, I'm gonna try and relax a bit here and uh, cool down. And then in about one half hours, I need to be back on standby. So uh, I'm to enjoy a bit of the off time. Mommy's here. The little one is sitting with me. So uh, support crew on point. <laughs>
second and last. As you can see, the, the AC fails, so it was quite long. It's quite difficult again, uh, the car balance is, is not easy to drive. We're trying to over to go to the front, but we, we forced the Ferrari in the mistake, so that helped on strategy. Uh, well, it looks like we will, we're still sitting around fifth position. That's where we will uh, will end. I think that's the maximum possible. So we're work in progress. So it's now almost seven o'clock. I'm done for the day. I think two more hours in the race. Tomorrow morning at seven, I need to be back here to track for uh, my commitment with Fab. I'm gonna eat a bit and try to, to cool down. Because tomorrow is another full day. Try to adjust your forward blower to the top right hand side of your head. Try to adjust the frontal blower. 9.30, just finished our debrief. I'm currently silent, Kevin is still working on it. Admin, we gotta do our admin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the shit because we didn't do our admin, so we need to fill in checklist and raise debrief. I need to be here tomorrow at 6.30 for IMSA, so uh, I'm about to go to bed. I don't know if you guys want to get some beers. Uh, at least one. Uh, or wine. wine. Here we are, day two. It's 6.30. It's still dark outside. Ah, support will actually awake. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well at all. Um, I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about the race yesterday and thinking about the race today. and. By the time I got back, I was still quite full of adrenaline, I think, so uh, not feeling very fresh at the moment. Yesterday, my watch at 95% ready, prime. Today is 19, so it's going to be a long day, but uh, I'll be fine. Warm up is at 8. I'm heading to the track early because I wasn't involved in uh, Tuff yet, so I'm going to have a briefing about how everything went and what the plan is. Driver change and at 10 the race starts. Good morning. A little bit sleepy. Uh, it was a bit of a culture shock, <coughs> my voice got. Driving the, in this car again, the position is quite different, everything is different. I had a meeting this morning at 7 where we had strategy and, uh, and some stuff I needed to know because I mean I didn't even read the pre-event documents. So I just had, I think, 10 laps, uh, warm-up, we were P2, so better than expected. It was quite a bit to getting used to, different, but it was okay, the race will be different of course. It's hard to be back with Faf, uh, I love being with those guys, at least I know them very well and I know my teammates felt like, quite good, so it makes this day a bit easier. Easier, and they're helping me a lot so that's good. Uh, now we have uh, driver intros where we basically have to smile and wave to three people who are watching and uh, then I'm gonna have some nice oatmeal breakfast and I'll be driving a second stint from lunch till 2 and from uh, 10 until 8. 8 until 10 this evening. Probably need a nap. and done. Somehow I'm uh, having <laughs> difficult cars to drive this weekend. Yeah, Porsche is not, well, the 3R is not the quickest. We saw it in Daytona, it's better, but we're still not really on pace to win, but we're closer. The race goes until midnight and it will get a lot colder at the end of the race. So that's where the car needs to perform and have a good balance. Now it's the middle of the day at the hottest point, so if you have a good car now, you won't have a good car this evening. So it's always a bit of a compromise at this time of the day. And it's, uh, yeah, it's very oversteery and the tires overheat, so uh, it's a lot of work. But we try to uh, save fuel and uh, I saved two laps of fuel compared to the others. We managed to, to get the fuel advantage, which is good for strategy at the end of the race. So let's hope that pays out. Now I need some food.
like a name for your club? Huh? Like a name for your club? Twelve sleepless hours later. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Now, I never eat donuts, so I have no idea how this should taste. <laughs> Sugar rush. I'm not used to eating uh, this. Good. Good for once. Oh, 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 Here we are. Huh? No. Here we are, post Super Sebring. We're at Cafe Racer. I think those who follow me know where we are. Sitting in the sun, relaxing a bit. My watch today says one and 91 hours of recovery. So I think I'm a bit tired. It was an exhausting week or weekend. 10 days, I think, in total. But actually, a really yeah, an awesome weekend, actually. I really enjoyed my, my debut in the LMDH car uh, with Porsche Penske. It was a long-time dream come true. The result was not yet what we wanted, like we saw, but still, I, I enjoyed it, proud of it. I think I did pretty well, or I'm happy with America. And Saturday was a pretty crazy day. Just show up in the morning at 7, got a briefing, jumped in the car. Uh, we did the race. It went really well at the end. I really felt good in the car and the team did the perfect execution. Patrick saved exactly the fuel we needed and we came home with a, an unexpected victory. So see you in Portimao. Another vlog. Bye.